Well, Fighting Fantasy books, in a way, were sort of an analog video game of the time. But at the same time, you know, M MUDs, MUDs, and video game. You know, there were some sort of Dungeons and Dragons inspired video games coming out. Lots of video games at the time. What was your first recollection of playing of playing a video game? And you know, it's almost like this is in parallel. Workshop and Fighting Fantasy was in parallel to this kind of the in, the beginnings of the video game industry, although separate. Yeah, we were playing video games at the time. I remember having an Intellivision console um, early on, and my first computer was a Commodore PET. I think it had 8K of memory. And we used to play very rudimentary games on, on that. And then we ended up writing some games for, for the PET. And then we started making, stocking Amiga games. And you know, Amiga was my probably my favorite console. And then you know, Mega Drive came along, came big fan of that. Um, one of my favorite consoles was the Dreamcast. Uh, I've always been a, a player of, of video games, but I still enjoy the medium of, of board games and I still like, you know, writing fighting fancy game books. I mean, the thing about game, I would say, people say, what's the difference between the fighting fancy game book and a video game? I would say that the, the fundamental difference is that books stimulate the imagination, whereas games tend to stimulate the senses. And that's for me that kind of difference. You know, the, it's all about the imagination of the book, and it's all about that kind of sense uh, stimulus in, in playing a video game because we're all seeing the same imagery.